Good afternoon YouTube. Today I'm going to walk you through how I make the nutrient solution for my hydroponic cucumbers. And I have been using 24816 Miracle Grow, but next year um, I'm going to switch over to Master Blend. Quick blurb this is sulfuric acid. It will melt your skin into a bazillion pieces and you will scream and water won't wash it away. You need a strong base to neutralize it and it will melt your skin down to the bone. So with any video where you're using chemicals, wear a proper PPE, gloves, a jacket, goggles, anything. I will not be held responsible if you mishandle this, this chemical. Sulfuric acid available locally. Uh, Google, YouTube, Bing, uh, where to find it, but this is what I've been using for the pH down. All right, so to start off, here's the Miracle Grow, and what I do is I take 15 milliliters of the powder. That is not 15 milliliters, that is like 22. Don't use that. 15 milliliters, which is a tablespoon, and I add it to 200 milliliters of water. And for you non chemist folk, the bottom of the uh, the curve that's where you measure from the bottom of the meniscus is your measurement line so I take my 15 milliliters I add it to 200 milliliters of water just stir it up now this is not this is not what I put into my plants this is the beginning step it's a multi-step process all right so now that I've got this, I'll stir it up, and it'll be granular for a little bit, but after sitting on the shelf for a couple of days, it definitely all dissolves. Pour it into my container, again 15 milliliters to 200 milliliters concentration, and then I'm going to put the lid on that and give it a good shake, if I can do this one handed quickly, off the camera. The tin foil or aluminum wrap they normally use for uh, windows and HVAC. I got that at big box store for three or four bucks. I got the containers at the dollar store for a buck a piece and they seem to work really well. I may change the containers down the road but for now they work pretty good. Okay, so I'm just pulling this in there so I've got a means of administering and what we start off with is we take our sulfuric acid and we put four drops. My pH here is like 8.8 .8 and the four drops bumps it down. My pH range wants to be between 5.5 .5 and 6 and four drops for two liters. These are two liter containers. Uh, does that for me. So we're going to start with four drops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's important that you mix these in the order that I'm given, giving you because if you mix them all together the sulfuric acid will bind to the chemical not chemicals the molecules in the solution and it'll form pre precipitates which will fall out and it won't give you the right uh, proportions to the solution okay so we've got four drops in a container and then what I'll do is in these inside these containers there are actually marks, but I put about one quart of water in here, and that'll dilute the sulfuric acid enough that I can add the nutrient solution to it. Okay. And now what I'm going to end up doing is taking the camera will focus on this. Uh, four actually eight milliliters of this now solution take eight milliliters of it and add it to the water 
whenever you mix up or use a syringe, you're gonna have bubbles on the top. So just bring them up to the top and push them out. And so it's all liquid in there. And right now I'm at like five. This is really hard to see with one hand in the camera. All right, there we go. So I'm at four. Focus. Four milliliters. Add it to the water. Get another four milliliters. Again, make sure there aren't any bubbles. And because I just made a new solution, there are bubbles. So get the bubbles out of there. And don't make a mess. Okay, four milliliters, put that in with the same container. Now I have eight milliliters of solution in here. Bring this back over the sink. And a lot of people have been filling these up. And so you have to have oxygen for the air roots. But I found just topping them off, filling them up to the top, the cucumbers grow just fine. Um, the reason for the aluminum foil, I'll show you later, but when sunlight gets into the water, it creates algae. And algae is not good, it won't hurt anything, but it depletes the solution of the nutrients. It, uh, it, it basically feeds the plants inside instead of the roots and the plants that you want to grow. Alright, so to take you back a little bit further, I started the seeds of this project in little Ziploc baggies with a paper towel and then I switched once they're about an inch tall I switched them over to this this is EVA foam again you get it from a box store and then I took a hole saw Did I get through these with those? yeah I took a hole saw and I cut these out but the hole saw is too big so I had to manually cut those out I'm sure if you were to get a smaller hole saw you can make it work but uh, a little bit of nutrient solution and uh, just fill it up and the seeds grew beautifully. I mean, they're like that tall. And then I switched them over to the, uh, the other planters. So that's what I'm going to be growing corn in next year. All right, so here's my cucumbers. And as you can see, they're getting pretty big. I'm super, super stoked. The bees love the, the yellow uh, flowers. There's one cucumber. Um, I've got more just kind of everywhere. All right, so there's the cucumbers. The project or the, the, the stuff just works well. Um, all right, so as you can see, the, the containers have green growing in them. That's the algae. That's not what we want. Let's see if I can light this up. And see, it actually goes all the way up into the roots. And that's not a good thing because it deprives the plant of its nutrients. So I'm going to swap that out real quick. And there you have it. Now, a couple of side notes. This is uh, a pool noodle, and uh, Mike V, I can't really pronounce his last name right off, uh, Van Duys, I think. Uh, he's been using pool noodles in his setup, and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. One difference that I made is I actually spiraled them up, and uh, they, hold, they seem to hold on to the plant pretty well. And it gave a hole saw and I cut the hole in the top of the, the lid. But uh, these have been growing since right around May 24th. Uh, I might have planted the seeds maybe a week or two before that. And this is August 20th. So I don't know if they've been growing exceptionally well, but they have been growing. And one thing in comparison, my wife who's been growing cucumbers in the ground, the stalks on her seem to be a little bit thicker. Um, 
and so I'm going to try the Master Blend uh, next year. But uh, a couple more notes here. This plant uh, had some kind of a I don't know, it was like a worm or a, a aphid or something. There are these little black spots that grow that you, you come across. I, I don't have them anymore right now. But uh, be wary of that. If your plants are yellow around the edge, that means that they don't have enough nutrient solution in the water. And before I bought them outside, I didn't have these. So a little critter uh, started eating my plants. But uh, yeah, and on the opposite side, if the plants have too much dark, like a saturation of nutrients, it'll get really dark around the edge. And it may start to, this is my strawberry, it'll, it'll potentially burn or um, damage the plant. So, yeah, that's what I've got for you. Have a good afternoon, YouTube. We'll uh, talk to you later.